Hey guys, I'm just filming a little update before I head out. I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt a little bit of a vlog today. I'm going to Knightsbridge with my parents just to walk around. They need to go to a shop, I think, to return something and then we might pop into Harrods. So I'll just try and vlog a little bit on the way and yeah, we'll see how it goes. We have arrived at Harrods in Knightsbridge. This is Harrods. We'll be coming back here. We're just going to go... Um, this is really awkward, like people are probably staring at me with a camera and thinking I'm recording them. But yeah, we're just going to walk around. I see a Zara. I probably want to go to Zara. Um, and we're just going to go to post office, run some errands and then, yeah, see where we go. So we're on our way to Harrods now. And my dad is dressed like he's in the mafia, which is super cool. So we are in the food halls now. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so hungry. So, well, not for the meat, but yeah, I bet there's going to be some really amazing stuff. And my stomach is already rumbling. There is a vegan salad. Actually, looks really good. It's only seven pounds, so not bad. They have some really nice, like, ready-made food. And I found another little vegan food. It's from the patisserie actually looks really nice just heading in to Zara so had a little successful shopping trip at Zara and now we're on our way to a really nice charity shop um, what street is this? Brompton Road, where basically it's the same street as Harrods. And there's just a really amazing charity shop. I'll show you guys the name, reveal all my secrets. Um, and they have the best like designer clothes. And obviously anyone who goes to a charity shop on near Harrods, obviously it's gonna be really nice stuff. So this is the charity shop. This is the charity shop. It's called the Octavia Foundation. And they just always have really nice stuff. Hey guys, so just a quick outfit of the day. It's actually once I'm already back, but I didn't have time to film. So I'm wearing a, I don't remember the brand, but it's, I got it from a random vintage shop. So it's not like H&M or a brand I think that you can even buy anymore. So yeah, the polo neck, it's dark green. The lighting is rubbish, I'm sorry, but yeah, it's dark green from a vintage shop and it's quite tight so I kind of was able to tuck it in as if it was a bodysuit into a skirt so I wore my trusted denim skirt when I don't know what to wear but I want to wear a nice skirt um yeah I choose this one usually just regular black tights probably from Primark because the skirt is really short it's a mini skirt so I need to stop saying the word skirt but anyway it's really short so I thought dark black tights were the best thing to go with and just quite plain, shiny, kind of patent um, M&S flats. This is a really cute little bag. This is what it looks like. I actually just got it on AliExpress, so it's unbranded, really cheap, but I think it's meant to be like a, um, kind of inspired by Fendi, shall we say? But I really like the blue studs. I think it adds something a little extra, and it's a nice kind of bright, vibrant blue, and it goes nicely with the green of the polo neck, add a bit of color in. And the blazer is, I think, the piece de resistance. Uh, this is from Zara. It was about 80 pounds and I got it quite recently. And it's just a little sneak peek into an upcoming uh, try on Zara haul. And they actually have this still in stock in some stores and different variations of this blazer in store. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul at some point in the next few weeks of a bunch of new Zara um, items I've bought. And also the necklace is H&M. Just a little update now that I've come home. This is, it's actually, as you can see from Harrods, very fancy. Um, and also let's ignore this nail it broke. Um, it's from a brand called Kaleido. I think, I don't know if they're a catering company or an actual restaurant, but yeah, they are in the Harrods food halls. And this is what I picked up. It's actually a vegan box. I was really excited. I wanted, I was so hungry. My stomach is still rumbling so loudly and I just really needed to get some food. And yeah, I don't really have anything quick to eat. And at lunch, if I'm having a busy day, I can't be bothered to cook. So yeah, this was eight pounds. 
not bad for like, you know, four rolls. That's almost like two large rolls. I'd say it's like a good portion size. I've got a tahini dip, lemon dip, and what is it? Yeah, that there you can see more if you're interested. And it's 12 grams of protein, so not bad. And then just a little sneak peek, I got a really cute mohair style. God, this nail looks so bad. <laughs> um, I got this little mohair style bright, what shade is this? Bright turquoise? I don't know. Um, yeah, really gorgeous green jumper. I have nothing like it. I'm trying to branch out, be more stylish, trendy whilst I'm still young. And a really pretty satin, satin, um, what's the word? Sat yeah, satin style um, wrap skirt, which again, I'll do a try and haul as soon as I can. Okay, so guys, that is probably the end of my block, end of my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's the first time I'm vlogging in London. It probably wasn't very good. I'm definitely a visible amateur at vlogging, um, but I do hope it was enjoyable, entertaining, maybe gave you some tips if you're traveling to London, live in London, and you're just interested in what Harrods has to offer or Knightsbridge in general. I don't know. But yeah, I think I gave you guys a couple good tips about like shopping and food and stuff. Um, I will definitely, I'm looking forward to the Harrods food. Um, yeah, they're like, it's like the rice paper wraps. And actually, I was literally, the other day, I think last night, actually, I was watching a Sophia and Chintzia vlog, and I think it was one of their more recent ones, but they literally made rice paper wraps. So somehow I manifested buying that for lunch the next day. But anyway, it was only eight pounds, so I think that's a pretty good price for Harrods. I was really impressed. Like, you'll have probably seen a few of the prices and, and portion sizes from the food hall in Harrods. Not bad at all. Very comparable to a kind of fresh food takeaway from a restaurant or cafe like like health shops as well i think the price and everything is almost the same like considering it's one of the most luxurious shops ever they don't charge like extortionate prices if you're buying for takeaway so yeah i'm really impressed with that hopefully it tastes amazing check out my instagram because i will be posting about it on my story but it looks really good i'm so hungry oh. and yeah i'll do a zara haul and that's basically my day done.